All right, so it's about mm, 8.37 at night, and I was just informed by my friend that the official trailer for a movie that I thought would just never come out has finally dropped. And I wanted to film my reaction to it because, lo and behold, it's the goddamn FNAF movie. Yeah, who remembers that? Who remembers that they were making a FNAF movie? I mean, seriously. It has been so long since I have even thought about this. I almost completely forgot about this until like a year ago when there was a tiny bit of news and I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing that was promised in like, I don't even remember when it was announced, like 2017, something like that? Okay, okay, overhead shot, overhead shot. This is Mike. I was just we got, we got a little girl. That you offered was still available. Yeah. Steve, Steve, what's that, what's that, Steve? Steve Raglan, uh, I don't think that's a FNAF character. I mean, it might be one from the books. I haven't read the books, but let's keep watching. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. I will take anything. Security guard, I will take anything. Man must be really desperate for money. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. Oh, okay, okay. Owner's not ready to let it go. Well... It looks like he kind of already has let it go, seeing as this has <laughs> completely collapsed, and all of these are overgrowing with ivy. Uh, I think the owners let it go quite far. I will work, and you will sleep. I understand. I will work, you will sleep. <laughs> what was that line delivery? It wasn't bad, but like, what was that? Let it go yet. I will work, and you will sleep. What was that? What was that? I will work. You will sleep. You are a child. I am an adult man. You will sleep. I understand. I understand. Come here. Alright, the set's looking like pretty decent. Oh, let's let's get a let's get a closer look at that previous room. This is actually a pretty nice setup. It gives me like slight reminiscence of the, the FNAF 2 uh, map, just a little bit, just with how open and spacious this was. Cause I remember the FNAF 2 building was like pretty big. Um, and I remember there being a prize corner. Uh, we also got little, like, glass, uh, <laughs> mosaics, I guess, of the characters between the benches. That's pretty neat. I can't exactly tell who that is. I'd guess and say it's Freddy, but... We got a bunch of artwork in the background. That's cool. That's cool. I think I see a, I think I see a Chica right there, and I think... I, I can't tell what that is. I honestly, I can't tell what creature that is. <laughs> Okay, I can't even deny. The the set design is looking pretty cool. Like, that's an extremely accurate and very cool-looking Freddy Fazbear. Like, the set design so far looks amazing. Ooh, that was cool. Producer of Megan. Ah, yes. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Hmm. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. All right, so, so far, it's just, all you have to do is watch the thing. Are we going to get a call from phone guy? I hope there's, there better be hello, hello in here. That better be in here. Who the fuck? You must be. Ah, oh, of course, guy. Halloween. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Them. Met who? Them. Oh, let's get a closer look at the boy. Earlier in the trailer, it said the the owner, whoever that is, probably the purple guy or Henry, said he couldn't let the place go. So maybe that's why the animatronics look so like upkept. Like that fur looks untouched. Them. The cupcake. Love the cupcake. Gotta see the cupcake. What about the fan? Oh. <laughs> Everything comes on. Oh man. Yeah, turn that off, bro. Ah, hey, classic. Went missing. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? Oh boy. They never found them. Ah, yes, the missing children. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. So far, it looks pretty good. Um, these look like the children uh, who were, you know, kidnapped and killed by Purple Man. I'd assume that's who they are. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. 
technically. Huh. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Baby! Uh, they want to make her like them. Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Oh, is that? Is that? My god, this trailer is moving fast. Oh, ah, that was. I saw that. Let's let's rewind by a couple of frames. There's Springtrap. I knew he, he has to make an appearance. I mean, he he's the purple guy. Like, you, you can't have a FNAF movie without Springtrap. He's just like one of the animatronics. Well, animatronics. Oh dear. That was a pretty cool sign. That's pretty nice. That's a nice design. Oh! What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I recognize that guy. So, Corey Kenshin making an appearance in the FNAF movie. Uh, why am I... I'm a little surprised, but I think I heard a rumor about this a while ago. Um, of all people. I mean, good pick. I mean... And props to Corey for getting out there and expanding to some newer and bigger things. Plus, you know, he's probably pretty knowledgeable about the FNAF universe by now, so not only could he be an actor, but he could also help the directors with uh, any questions they have. Oh. Oh. I always get the weirdos. I always get the weirdos. Story by Scott Cawthon. Screenplay by Scott Cawthon and Emma Tammy. And Seth Kudebeck. All right. So that was the FNAF movie. Oh, look at that. Who, who, who's that? Who's that freaking loser right there? So that was the FNAF movie trailer. Um, I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's really hard for me to give uh, reactions and uh, sort of thoughts as someone who's not really interested in this franchise anymore. But I did grow up during the golden age and the prime age of FNAF, aka Five Nights at Freddy's like one through that yeah, I'd probably say Sister Location was like one of the last good games. But since then, I haven't been I've been following this franchise for a while, so it's kind of it's kind of hard to be excited about it. I mean, it's cool that this movie's finally coming out after so many years. I did I didn't fully expect the Corey uh, X Kenshin uh, cameo to be completely accurate. I didn't expect that rumor to be. 100% true. I thought, eh, like, maybe that's true. Like, maybe they just had him on set for, like, a couple days or something. Like, I, I wasn't too sure about that, but I guess the rumor was true. But that's my overall, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about this trailer. I mean, like, I really didn't know what to expect since, like, it the script changed so many goddamn times and, you know, we sort of just forgot about the movie for, like, a couple years there. So, like, <laughs> I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to say. But yeah, that's the FNAF movie trailer. Um, no idea uh, if I'm going to see it or not. I might just wait till it um, is out for a little while and then acquire it through uh, definitely legal means. Wink. But, you know, if any of my friends are like, yo, we should go see the FNAF movie for the shits and giggles, I'll probably be like, yeah, sure, I'll go. But that's pretty much all I have to say for now. I just wanted to record my reactions to this because, like, hey, it's been uh, it's been quite a while since this was announced. But yeah, that's all I got. If you want to share your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to read them and see what you think. Are you hyped for the movie? Do you just not care at all? Do you Are you underwhelmed? Are you overwhelmed by the trailer? Like, <laughs> I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, that's all I've got. Have a good day, everyone.